Hi students, let us continue with the next decision statement that is the nested if else. So in the previous videos, I explained about the if statement and uh, if else statement. Now let us see nested if else statement. So what is this nested if? Actually, this nested if is an if statement that is object of either if or else. So let me write. So nested if is an if statement that is object of either if or an else. So it is a object of if or else. So if is placed inside another if or else you call it as a nested if. Nested means more than one if. So here if is placed inside another if. So if more than one if statement is there, if or else statement, then you call it as a nested if else. So let me write the syntax for this uh, if nested if. Syntax. So first you have to check the condition if condition 1 is satisfied then enter into this block there again check another condition condition 2 so if condition 1 satisfied enter into the condition statement uh, so here again checking for another condition so this is nested if if this condition is also satisfied the statement 1 will execute else statement 2 is execute or else so if this condition is not not satisfied it's enter into the else statement again it check the condition if condition 3 is satisfied statement 3 executes else statement 4 execute close the else statement. so Actually, here, this is if-else. Okay. So, nested if-else means one, in one if, another if statement is also present. If more than one if statement is present inside an if condition, if or else conditions, so that you call it as nested if-else. So, here in if, if condition, again another if is there and else condition. For this else condition also, if statement is there else statement is there so nested more than one if else will present inside an another if else statement okay so this is nested if let me write the flow chart for this then you will understand what is this exactly nested if let me write the flow chart so first what we have to check the condition okay so, if condition is true, if this condition, first this block, okay, if condition is true, again it checks the another condition, this is condition 1 and it checks the another condition, condition 2. So, here if this condition is true, it executes the statement 1 up to here it is over if this condition is false it executes the statement 2 ok so leave it here now suppose if this condition is false so this is true and if this condition is false it enter into the else block ok let me write this so, if here the condition is false, if this condition is false, it skips complete this block and enter into this else statement. So, again here it checks condition 3. So, if this condition 3 is true, what will the statement 3 is execute? If this condition is false, it executes the else statement. So, F means false means statement 4 will execute. 
so after all these statements if all this condition satisfied uh, true or false if it has to be execute after that it continue with the remaining steps in the program so this is a nested if else so don't be confused so whenever you are writing a program you just make it as a clear first if can think about these two if this condition is true it has to execute some statement otherwise it has to execute the false statement so again it checks another condition if this condition is true then it has to execute one statement else second statement then skip this block let me uh, take explain with the program so the program for this uh, nested if else i am taking program so here let let me take the program for to find out the largest of three numbers so in here i am entering three numbers so in those three numbers i have to find out which one is the largest number so here we will use the nested if conditions hash include stdio.h so while i am writing the program uh, please follow my steps first the main program here i have to find out the largest of three numbers so i have to enter three numbers so that's why first declare those three numbers with the data type integer data type a b c these are the three variables that i am entering so for these variables i have to enter the values from the keyboard so first write the printf printf enter three numbers okay now I entered the three numbers. How can I enter? I have to write the scan of. So I have to enter the uh, three numbers from keyboard. So that is percentile D, percentile D, percentile D. Because three numbers are of integer data type. So you have to write the format string as three Ds. So in that particular address locations of the variables, you have to store the value whatever you enter from the keyboard. So that's why you have to write ampersand A ampersand b ampersand c so in that particular address location the values will be stored ampersand c so this is nothing but the address location of a address location of b address location of c if you know the address then the values will be stored in that particular address location in memory so this is a scanf now i am writing the conditions so if whatever the value that I entered that a greater than b b this is one condition again it's check if a greater than c so here here the value whatever i entered is greater than both b and c so if it is greater than both b and c obviously it is a greater number so what i have to print print f percentile d means whatever the value that I entered, the A value is largest. Suppose it is false. If this condition is false, A greater than B only, but it is not greater than C. The value is greater than B, but it is not greater than C. So it has to print, print F, D is largest. So you have to print the, c value so if is a greater than a is not greater than c means obviously the c is should be greater so i have to print the value of c suppose if a is not greater than b a whatever the value that entered a is not greater than b then it has to execute the else statement this complete statement should be skipped and enter into the false block in this false block it checks whether b is greater than c or not if suppose b is greater then b is the largest number d is percentile d is largest and you have to print the b value because b is greater than c else you have to print c is greater than percentile d is largest you have to print the C value. Close the else statement and close the main block. So this is one block and this is one block. This is a true block. This is a false block. Again in the true block, 
you are having nested if this is true and this is false this is true this is false now let us see what will be the output for this program output so i am entering this statement will be present on the screen enter three numbers so i have to enter the three numbers from keyboard so in that particular location suppose i am entering 10 20 30 okay so the values of a is 10 20 30 now it is checking a is greater than b is 10 is greater than 20 no it is not greater than 20 so this is false so this complete if statement will be skipped it comes to the this block so it's check so here 10 is not greater than 20 so again it's check is b greater than c that is 20 is greater than 30 no this is also false so it comes to the l statement and prints this value what this value here c is largest that is 30 is largest so from these three numbers it is finding out whether which number is the largest so first it checks this condition is 10 greater than 20 no it is not greater than 20 so complete block will be false so it comes to this l statement so here uh, so he, here it uh, observe that 10 is less than 20 okay this is correct if it is not greater than 20 obviously it is less than 20 so here a is less than b now it is checking whether b is greater than c or not so again this is not greater than this is also false so this complete statement will be skipped and it prints the l statement c is greater so this is about the nested if else Thank you.